I think what you're laying out is a structure for uh, not just a new consciousness, but a new society, a new way that we can interact, and, and in a sense, a utopian possibility that we can live in harmony and peace and love and joy, abundance and freedom. You know, I think that's what we're really moving into in this realm. So what else are you, did you come up with? Well, if, if we could have a million people like you on this planet, we'd have we'd the change involved. So okay. I really appreciate this kind of... Uh, people are afraid of change. Yeah. It's not easy. And, and I had a discussion with someone just the other day. Remember Abraham Lincoln said you can please half the people half the time, uh -huh. but you can't please all the people all the time. Uh -huh. This person said to me, you know, every time you make a change, all of a sudden there will be a whole group of people that surface that, that want to stop you. And they will of do course. so in very insidious ways. Mm -hmm. This is tr has been true of every artist, great artist, I or know. leader, or uh, Anytime musician. Anytime there's a new thought, yeah. people are resistant to it. Absolutely. It's just how it goes. So how do we get through that type of innovation? Ah, uh, that's what we need. We need to form a a new global um, force okay. for, for positive change. And what, is that, what would that look like to we you? We just need to have a common ground. And any of the details and things that evolve just need a little consensus. We need to set up a supportive kind of environment, a, mm. a social consciousness, instead of antagonistic and all of this. You know. Yeah, no, that would be important. Okay. I think all the points that you've mentioned, medicine, education, um, learning, uh, telepathy, empathy, uh, it's about bringing a divine, eternal aspect of the inherent human nature into the paradigms of the future here. Yes, as, and I, as yeah. I see it, we're going back and re-engineering the human entity. Right. And we're doing that from a consciousness, uh, using consciousness technology. We're looking at that human entity and saying, whoa, this, this individual was really equipped to do this. He could, he could look at medicinal plants and recognize which ones were going to be healing. These are things that kept humans surviving for millions of years. Right. You know what I also get from what you're saying? You know, in the old paradigm, you'd go to school, you graduate, and then you try to fit into a job <laughs> that was already prepared. In the new paradigm, what you're saying, you don't fit into a job. You create it or you go with what your desires are and, and the job forms around who you are. It really is a new world that you are envisioning and the book that's coming out in September, Brave New Mind, is the encapsulation of a lot of these future science principles? Absolutely.